today we are going to go ahead and perform the initial configuration on a router. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use the customer PC to activate or to connect to the router using the terminal emulation software. And we'll do this by going here, OK, and we are inside the terminal. So what we're going to first need to do is go into enable to get into privileged executive mode. And then we're going to configure terminal. So what we need to do first is give this a host name. So we're going to do host name, customer, router. Okay, so then now that is configured. And then we're going to go ahead and give it a password and then a secret password. So we need to do enable password Cisco. And then we're going to do enable secret Cisco123. All right, so now we have to, we're going to switch to line configuration mode so we can put a password on the console port, which is used for configuring the router as I'm doing right now. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do password Cisco 123, one, login, exit. All right, and we're going to do a password to allow Telnet, which is a program used to access other computers or routers, and we're going to configure a password for that. So we're going to do line BTY04. We're going to do password Cisco123, login, exit. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and configure password encryption, a message of the day, and we're going to turn off DNS lookup. So first thing we're going to do is do service password encryption. And we're going to do show running config just to verify that the passwords are now encrypted. So that didn't work, so we're going to do, we're going to go on to the next part. So we're going to do banner message of the day, and we're going to put dollar sign authorized access only. Because dollar signs make it look important. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and test out to make sure everything works. So we're going to exit exit and we need the password and we're in again so what we're going to do so we're going to go ahead and uh, use you can when you enter a command differently the router is going to try to look it up using domain service so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and disable that, and I'm going to show you what I mean. So we're going to misspell enable, enable, and it's trying to translate it into a domain server. So we're going to wait for that to go ahead and complete, and then once that completes, we're going to go ahead and shut it off. So just bear with me one second while that finishes. All right, so for an order for that to um, work, we need to go ahead and put in this. No IP domain look up. And that will, okay, give me one second here. Oh, that's probably why, because I'm not in the correct place to do that. So now we need to do no IP domain lookup. Alright, so we need to do end and we're going to go ahead and enter the command copy run start and that will go ahead and copy this. It'll configure this for the startup configuration. So that was built successfully. 
Alright, so we're going to go ahead and log out of all of that. And now we're going to try to re-log back in and see if everything works. Okay, so we're getting prompted for a password. We're going to enter that in. And now we're going to see if it works for privilege exec mode. And it works. It's all good. Alrighty, I do appreciate you watching my video on how to do the initial configuration for a router. Once again, thanks for watching and have a great day.